to my channel. Today I am filming a horse show week in my life. Um, I'm competing at Head of the Bay this coming week and I'm super excited to take you guys along with me. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, hi, I'm Allie. I'm gonna be a junior in college and I have a horse named Enzo and he is a Dutch warm blood and we compete um, together in jumper ships, hunter jumper ships. So yeah, um, I'm gonna go uh, show you my outfit of the day. So here's today's fit. Um, I'm wearing a my show shirt. It's um, ha my Hadley show shirt. And then my belt from Dover Saddlery. And then I have my tailored sportsman breeches. And then these socks. I don't know where I got them from. But yeah. So let's go have some breakfast. So I just blended up a smoothie for breakfast and it has blueberry, banana, spinach, almond, cacao, and maca powder and uh, rice milk in it. So I'm excited to drink this and yeah. Okay, I just finished packing the car. So I have my saddle, my ice boots, an extra saddle pad just in case I need it. My show coat, my derby coat, which I don't think I'm gonna need today, but I'm just gonna bring it just in case. My boot bag, my riding backpack, and a cooler with some water and stuff. My breakfast smoothie and an extra water. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go grab some last minute stuff and we're gonna hit the road. Okay, it is 8.20ish about and then we're gonna hit the road. Like a flower that is losing its petals I saw people losing their head There are too many levels And nobody to tell you what's next She took her time to handle the ache Just like taking a swan dive in a blue Okay, so I am like really sweaty right now because it is really hot out, but um, I just finished riding for the day and we did the point eighty five jumper meter jumpers and we were, Enzo was really good. I, on the other hand, was not that good, but um, we ended up doing like, okay, I don't know what we placed yet, but um, the first round, Enzo was a little strong and we were just like, not very organized and the second one we were too slow so we need a happy medium but that was just a warm-up to get us ready for the egg this weekend so hopefully we'll do better this weekend but definitely we need to improve on some things but i just finished so now i'm gonna go and just chill i got enzo's ice boots so i'll put those on him and then yeah i'll probably just chill around here for a bit i'll update you yeah Just like taking a swan dive in a blue lake How far we go Buddy got ice booted and he's all wrapped Huh, he's so good I just cleaned my boots Looking good and I cleaned my bridle so that's in here I just gotta find out what we're doing It's very messy But yeah Sweating so much 
purse is like really hard, hot in my car right now. I just turned it on. I just got back in my car. It is about, mm, it doesn't want to work. 4.30 um, and I am now leaving. I just um, helped my barn with some chores. I swept or raked the barn aisle. And yeah, so now I'm done. I'm gonna head home. Um, earlier I had lunch. I had a veggie wrap with sweet potato fries from the one of the food trucks here. It was very good. And then after that, I just hung out with some of my friends. And yeah. So I will catch up with y'all later when I get home. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I got home like an hour ago and I jumped in the pool. I've been swimming for about an hour. I just got out and I'll probably make some dinner soon from HelloFresh. I'll show you what I'm gonna make. It's gonna be so good. So this is what we're gonna make for dinner. The triple mushroom truffle gnocchi. I'm so excited, it looks so good. Yum. Look how good. It is so good. Oh my gosh. Good morning, everyone. It is day two. It is currently 7.49 and I have to leave in literally like a minute, but I thought I'd give you an update of what I'm wearing. So same show shirt, um, the same brand, Hadley show shirts with my Dover's Hadley belt, tailored sportsman breeches, and then I don't have any socks on yet because I bought new socks at the show yesterday and they're still in my car and I wanna wear those. So yeah. And then anyways, so for breakfast, I made, I made another smoothie. Um, this one has strawberry, banana, peach, raspberry, oats, and goji berries in it with rice milk. So I'm gonna put that in a to-go cup and we're gonna hit the road. You was next. She took her time to handle the ache. Just like taking a swan dive in a blue lake. When the lights are on, my home is your home. When the stars are bright, your home is my home. And it goes on and on and on. Love goes on and on and on. Oh yeah, come on, darling. I'm back. Um, I've been really bad about vlogging today, but I forget where I left off. Um, basically, we did the derby warm up this morning, and it was so good. It's on the grass field. We're doing it tomorrow, and I'm so excited to do that because it's probably our first derby on a field. So that's exciting. Um, and then after that, we did the modified and open 0.85 meter jumpers and we got first in one of our classes. And then our second class was really good, but we knocked the rail down at the last jump, but we had really good times. And we ended up getting champion, the champion ribbon for that 0.85 meter jumper division. So that's really fun. And then after that, um, put Anzo back, untacked him, got him in a stall, and let him pee, then I gave him a bath, and then we ice booted him for a little, and then I wrapped his legs, and then I kind of just hung out with my friends, we went to watch some of our friends compete, um, and then, um, what did I do after that? I got lunch, I got a tuna wrap, it was really good. Um, and then I just cleaned all my tack and it's about 3.41 right now and I'm about to head home. Yeah, 
I'm about to go home. So I will probably catch up with you when I get back. For dinner tonight, I'm just having the same thing that I had last night, the leftovers of it, because it's so good. The truffle gnocchi, like so yum. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat that. Good morning. It's derby day. I'm so excited, but it's so early right now. Ugh. Hey guys, um, I just got in my car and it is currently 6.30. I'm running a few minutes late, but I was supposed to get to the show at seven. So yeah, I forgot to do an OOTD today because I was in a bit of a rush, but um, I'm wearing my Highlight Sportsman breeches, the same belt from the other few days, and then I think this, I don't really know what kind of, what brand this shirt shirt this is, but yeah. And then my mom made me a smoothie, and it's really good, right here. I don't know what's in it because I didn't make it, but it's pretty good. And yeah, so I'm gonna drive to the show and I'll update you in a bit. You look so good. Get your braids. I just got dressed for the day. When the lights are out, my home is your own. So this is what I'm going to make for dinner from HelloFresh Black Bean and Blue Corn Crunch Burritos. So I'll update you when it's made. Hey guys, I forgot to update you when I got back, but oh, here's my brother. How do you like the soft look? That looks so weird. He's making a special sauce for his hash browns that he like learned from camp or something. <laughs> nice. Do you want to try it? Sure. Not bad. Pretty good, actually. Um. Anyway, where was I? I forgot to update you guys when I got home from the show, which was around 4.30. It is now 6.00. 15. I just ate dinner. I showed you the burrito I made. And so basically, I'll tell you how my like day went. So 
got to the show around 7 and my flat class went around 7.45ish. I went down to the ring around 7.30 to warm up and we did our flat. It was, he was so good, Enzo. Um, we ended up placing 7th, but there were a lot of really good riders in that and Eck is, um, not our best suit, but we're getting better. So that's all that matters. Anyway, so then after that, we went back to the barn and he went back in his stall for a bit. I watched some of my friends go do their rounds and then it was time for us to do our New England and MHJ medals. Um, so those went well. I don't know how I placed, I never checked, but I'll probably look online in a bit and see how those went. I think we did knock a rail in our New England, so that's too bad, but they went pretty well otherwise. And then after that, we he went back to the barn again and chilled out for a long time. Well, actually, no, not that long. Um, then me and my friend went up to the ring because we were doing the uh, National Hunter Derby. And so we went up to the ring and um, reviewed our course a bit. Um, oh, sorry. I forgot to tell you about the course walk. We did the course walk and then after that we like went over our course a bit and then it was time to get on and warm up for that and then we did our first hunter round and it was so good um we did we're late on one lead change so we ended up scoring a 77.5 but other than that he was amazing like we did so well I'm so proud of him. And then we did end up getting called back. I think the cutoff was literally like 76.5, so we just made it. Um, so then we did get called back and we had to do our handy round. So our handy round was amazing. It was probably one of the best rides I've ever had on Enzo. We ended up scoring a 90, but there was an issue because I kind of went off course by accident. Um, so basically there were two jumps that were like right next to each other. And then there was a hill jump with like, you have to go up the hill, jump and then go down the hill. And the one on the right, I was, I did before the hill. I was supposed to do that after the hill. And the one on the left, I did after the hill and I was supposed to do that first. So I just mixed up the order by accident. So we ended up getting a zero for that but we did the judge didn't even know like what we went off course so we had to tell her like after i got out of the ring after they gave me the 90 score i was like that you gotta be kidding me like that has to happen to me like get literally the best score ever and then like whatever so basically we ended up placing 12th out of the 12 riders that got called back because of that little mishap but that's still pretty good and I'm really proud of him because he was amazing today and then we got to do our like victory gallop it was so fun I have a little video I can put but um yeah so then after that we went back to the barn he went to a stall to pee and drink some water and then gave him a bath and then after that he ice booted for a little um he got unbraided um pull I pulled this to him and wrapped his legs and then he went back in his stall and yeah so then I kind of just cleaned all my stuff all my tack and packed up my car and went home and that was my day um tomorrow I, I'm not sure what time I'm getting to the show yet but I'm doing MHJ in New England again tomorrow because I still have to qualify but yeah that is the plan I will talk to you guys in a bit Hey guys, I forgot to update you this morning, but welcome to the last day of the show. The plan for today is I'm doing um, MHJ in New England in the Eck Ring this morning. I, it is around 7.20 right now, and I'm just grabbing my stuff and walking over my tent, but I will update you in a bit. Oh yeah, also for breakfast this morning, my mom made me another smoothie, so... Like a flower that is losing its petals. As a I just finished showing. I did my open egg class, New England and MHJ. 
and they went really well. We got first in MHA in New England, so. Going home. Trailer's here. So cute. He did so good today. He did so good. He's playing with my boot bag. Ooh. I just got home from all of my ribbons. Um, mom's making lunch, making egg salad. Yeah, it's a pretty good day today. I qualified for New England Day and MH Day. That's very exciting. So yeah. Here is lunch, egg salad. Hey guys, I am currently in Nantucket for a few days, but I just realized I never made an outro to this video. Um, thank you all so much for watching. It means so much to me. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like and hit the red subscribe button down below. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you, bye.